Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to build a bird feeder. Yes, and we're just gonna use uh, simple items that we have lying around the house. Didn't have to go to the store to buy anything. Uh, just some wood and, uh, and a wine bottle, mm -hmm. which luckily we had laying around. And I got the inspiration for this bird feeder from Anna White's website. We'll link her below and where she shows you all the plans and the material list. We'll probably tweak our bird feeder just slightly from Anna's plans, but we'll link what she has written up below so you can make your very own. So let's get started. Let's do it. So the, the wood we're going to use for our bird feeder is a cedar fence board we just got at Home Depot. Had a couple of these laying around from other projects that we did. Um, but you want to make sure if you're going to use any kind of wood, don't use pressure treated wood because the pressure treated has chemicals in it and you don't want that around your birds because they might end up, you know, picking at it or whatever and we don't want to get them sick. So this is what we're going to use for the wood for our bird feeder. And it's also good uh, for outdoor projects, this cedar. Um, it holds up well to weather so you don't have to worry about rain or anything uh, deteriorating the board or your project that you worked on. So just a quick tip when you're doing multiple cuts for something, sometimes it's easy, you can make a jig so you can do quick cuts, but we're not doing a lot of cuts, so we we'll just do it nice and quickly here. But when you're measuring out, what some people will do, so we're doing a cut that's eight and a half, some people will go, oh, eight and a half, make a mark, and then go over another eight and a half to 17 and make a mark. But what you're forgetting if you do it that way is your saw is gonna cut off the width of the saw blade on here. So you're gonna cut off an eighth of an inch into your cut here, which ultimately is gonna make your next mark an eighth of an inch shorter than what you need. So when you're doing these cuts, it's always good to just mark out one at a time, do your cut, go on to the next one, measure again. Four, seven. Okay guys, now we got all of our pieces cut. We'll go ahead and sand around the edges quickly, and then we just So what we're working on right now, these is, this is our sideboard and we need to create the little peak uh, for our roof that's going to go on top. So what we did was we found where the center of the board was here and then I actually took that measurement and measured the same down on each side and made another little mark and what we're going to do is just make, connect our lines here and then we'll cut these little pieces off so we'll have our little peak. Now we have the center of the bird feeder where the wine bottle is going to go through so we need to make a hole in the center. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the speed square, find each corner on each side, and that's my center. Now that we found the center of our board we're just going to take a nail and hammer it in slightly, it doesn't have to be too far down, and then we'll take our pencil and attach a rope. So now I'm going to take a piece of rope, tie it around the nail, just kind of like, Make sure you keep your pencil straight up and down, keep your pencil straight up and down, and just turn the board. So to figure out your your size of the, of the rope that you're going to need, all you need to do is look at the um, how big of a circle you wanted. So in our case, it was three and three quarters. And then once you have your center mark, you go out uh, half of that from here to here. So it was one and seven eighths for the radius of the circle. We made a mark, and then we just took the the rope put the pencil on the mark and circle it around. We're not looking for the circle to be exact, we just need a, enough room to be able to fit the wine bottle down in there. All right, 
so we have all of our boards cut now. We have our hole cut out for the center for uh, where our wine bottle is going to go. And it's starting to come into shape here. So this is essentially what the bottom and the two sides are going to look like. You can see like that. Uh, so now what we need to do is start trying to put it together. Uh, and one of the first things we need to do is put the, the two sides here onto the bottom. So what we need to do to make sure it's nice and symmetrical is find out where the center is of our bottom board, come out, make a mark, and then we measure how wide these are, and then that way when we put these together we'll have this all marked out and the sides will be nice and centered when we put it together. So that's what we're going to do next. We get our centers marked on each of the boards and so when we go to glue them and nail them together we can just put our lines right together and we'll know it's nice and centered. So now that we have everything all marked out we can start putting this together. What we're going to do is just take some wood glue and run it down the edges here, fold them up and use our 18 gauge brad nailer. These things are great by the way. If you don't have one, it's definitely worth the investment, especially if you like doing a lot of projects around the house. Uh, you love it. Um, we're gonna use three quarter inch nails to put everything together. So here we go. Starting to work on the roof here, so what we're going to do is put one side on, glue it and tack it in, and then what we're going to do with the other side is it's going to go here, but we're going to have a hinge so we can open up the top enough to get our bottle in there okay and refill it when uh, the birds eat all their yummy snacks. Okay, so what we're going to do now is hook up a chain to our bird feeder so we can hang it from a tree branch in our yard somewhere. And what we're going to do is just take a simple chain like this and a couple eye hooks. And we're going to just open this clamp up and feed it through here. So we're just going to take our eye hooks here 
find a spot that's in the middle uh, of our board here, uh, screw it in, and then we'll measure exactly where it is on this side, flip it over, and do the same on this side. Sneaky, sneaky. That's how you plug it in. That's what she said. <laughs> you don't have to get so mad. <laughs> you were just being mean to me, and now all of a sudden you're like... <laughs> Was it on camera? It didn't happen. <laughs> it's day 21 of the quarantine. Going nuts. Food ran out seven days ago. The whole world is starting to look like Gary Busey. And don't do your smoldering look like this. Like this. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you look so stupid. You're like. You, you make your eyes go like this instead of like showing your like. But you like my smolder. Beautiful fit. So why are you showing the world your smolder if I'm the one that likes it? That should just be for me. Because <laughs> we need subscribers. Because this so far is helping. <laughs> Let's try not doing this molder and see what I like to make it. Okay. Deal. Um, Stop looking at me. I'm looking at Chloe. Really? Where are you going with the toilet paper? To my dad's house. Why what? are you buying toilet paper and distributing it all over I the world? I thought you were replenishing the 12 rolls that you took out of our house to give to somebody else. And I don't want dollar store toilet paper at Wegmans. Dollar store is not enough flies. Who are you giving our toilet paper away to? She bought that last night at the dollar store. Get your shoes on. You are not driving without shoes. It's illegal. Can I have my boots behind you? No, you go get them. You wear there them. There's reason. coronavirus on them. You want your boots? Yeah. Oh, I don't touch them. How does it wear the boots to work? Yes, I do. Are you... That's disgusting. You have uh, hand sanitizer on yeah, I got some from work. You look like you're from like 1924. All right. <laughs> Love you. Love you, bye. Love you. Love you. Be careful, please. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. She's gonna grab my ass. <laughs> Tell you to pink eye. You're always giving pink eye. Ugh. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a birdhouse. A bird feeder. A bird <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sneeze in a second. Let's spend that sawdust you drank. <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> I love drinking water, and I had a glass of water out here from the other day, and I thought it was my today glass of water, and I was like chugging it, and I was like, wait, I had a different glass, and I was like, no, I just drank sawdust. <laughs> it happens. Good for the hat. Anyway. Make you poop. <laughs> is, that, is that considered roughage? <laughs> It's tough times. Sometimes you gotta eat soft dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you need to get over yourself. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Right. I like water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Loudest drinker. That's how I drink now. Wine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why we have a lot of wine bottles around. This is true. Not even joking. Okay. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. Oh, I am a yeah, that's because you have Star Lord on your shirt. Legendary outlaw. Wah, 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 wah. That's my nickname in college. Wah.